Okay. So I had added Sam, my son, to our class so that I can show you a couple of things. First of all, left-hand side right here, upcoming. You can click on view all. And what that will do is it will show all of the assignments that we've had so far, okay? Obviously he hasn't done anything, okay? If there's an actual assignment, so page 298, this is a situation where you're going to need to upload the assignment. So from this menu, you can click on any one of these. So let's say today is the four or five assignment. So once he finishes that, you can click on this. Down here, it says view details. I can click view details and then I would add or create. I'm gonna upload the assignment. If you have any questions or concerns, you can sit message me here. And then this keeps our conversation in a nice neat spot so that you and I can both find it. I am literally getting hundreds of emails a day. And so doing it on here is very helpful for me um, to go back and make sure that I responded to you and that I'm not losing any emails because I'm getting so many emails and that's okay. Um, please, if you guys have questions or concerns, shoot me an email, okay? Now, if it's something like the 4-2 quiz, you're gonna go to Delta Math and you're gonna take this chapter four uh, quiz two, okay? So when you're done, there's nothing for you to upload. I go into Delta, I can see every question that you did, I can see how long it took you, I can see what time you worked on it, et cetera, et cetera. I can see everything. And so I go through and I look at the questions that you did and then I'll grade it from there. So obviously in Delta Math, for those of you that have been using it, you can keep on going until your score gets to 100%. Um, and that's not how you're going to be graded. I go in and I look at what you did. Um, I look at your work, all that kind of stuff. But in a case like this, where there's nothing for you to submit, all that you have to do when you're done is mark is done. And I'm going to say mark is done. And then great. If I have an issue with it, if you accidentally click this and it wasn't, I will make sure and write you a message. Okay. Another way that you can get at this stuff from the main screen up here under classwork. I can go under classwork. I have everything organized. So any of your tests and quizzes are going to pop up here. Okay. And they'll keep on popping up here every um, day. And I will let you know when we're going to have them. Okay. Attendance questions are going to pop up here. This is stuff that you're going to need to again do every day. So I put these up at the top. From here, this is all the chapter four stuff that doesn't belong to one particular place. I added online help videos for the first part of chapter four, if you missed that. Here's an updated schedule. Here's information for Quizlet. Here's information for Delta Math. And then here's a couple of handouts that we had, okay? Here's four one. Now notice over here, this symbol right here means that this is just material. So this is something for you to look at. It's not an assignment. This symbol means it's an assignment. And so over here, you can see that there is a due date. Okay. Same in 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7. Okay. Then down at the bottom, we have the chapter review. Any of these extra ones are just for you. I posted it as a material. It's for you. It's got all the solutions. This was all the stuff that I passed out before you left. Okay. And same as from that other menu I showed you, you can click on any one of these. So I'll go to four or five, click on here. You need to view assignment and it takes you back to that same, same screen. Okay. And so these are your class comments. These are your private comments. Um, to upload something and I have nothing to upload, but you can upload it um, and then send it to me. If for some reason I can't see it, if for some reason that there's an issue, send it to me um, and then I will touch base with you if there's an issue. Um, I'm going to try really hard the things that are turned in on time to grade on time. The things that are turned in late, I'm gonna have to wait until I have time. Um, Yesterday, I got up at six o'clock and I was on the computer on and off all day working on lessons, answering emails, and I stayed up until 1 a.m. And there were still students that were online asking questions and working on stuff for my classes until that, that point in time. And so you guys have to realize that this is going to take me a lot longer than it did when it was paper and pencil. Um, 
If you have any comments, suggestions, any issues, shoot me an email, write me a message in Google Classroom, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm here to help you. I hope you guys are doing okay. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.